Right, so whenever we're looking at um, cutters of forms, these, these are like these are like broad stroke rules, you know. So there's, with every rule, that these aren't set in stone. There's exceptions to all of them, but generally, right, if you're looking at a, a striking technique within kata, the non-striking hand will be active. It'll be, it'll be it'll put to work, and it's normally it's one of two jobs, and the job is either getting the limbs out of the way, which we've just looked at, and the other one is telling you where he is. Okay, so getting like a, a, a feel on. Probably the most obvious example of that is we see this in cutter all the time, we've got one hand and you elbow your own hand. Right? So you do lots and lots of cutter, you get very good at elbowing your own hand. Right? It's just you know, something you've done thousands of times. You stick your hand on the side of the guy's head, wherever he goes, I just elbow my hand. The difference now is his head's between it. Okay? But, but, but I've, I've got used to that kind of tactile feel of where, where it's going to be. Okay? So um, you can look at cutter this way as well, I say it's like a map through the wilderness. You know, a conflict's messy, and, so you don't want to go in the wilderness without a map. Okay, but the map is not the wilderness. Get people to do that, put a map on the ground, stand in and go, way, I'm a mountaineer. <laughs> no, no, you're not, you're a guy who owns a map. You know, um, going back to the cooking analogy, you was talking about uh, the cookery book. Uh, but when, I, um, when we apply this stuff, we don't apply the cutter so much as we apply the information in it. If that makes sense. So when, when I, if I get a cookery book and I, I follow the recipe, I'm applying the information in the book. I don't eat the cookery book. Do you know what I mean? The cookery book is, is not where I get my nutrition from, it's by following those instructions. Is everyone alright with that? So cat is just a physical set of instructions. Right? So I just wanted to, you can just pl play with this now, but we'll, we'll, we'll add this on. You, you see this all the time, you know, pin on your arm, whatever you want to do. So when you've got past that arm from there with this, boom, just put the hand on the hip with the elbow. Is everyone alright? If you've gone the other way again from, from there, it's boom, the same thing again. And the reason being is once I've got that, that arm on from here, if he moves, I feel where he's moved to. And I can just, I can change, bang. Yeah, because I know it's United Cutter too, don't you? you know, one hand going out and the other one comes through. And I think that's part of the problem. You know, if we were sparring before, Motobu said this, he said, never have a dead hand. Okay, never have a sheet, never have a dead hand. If I'm sparring, I have dead hands all the time. You know what I mean? So I'll be like, what am I doing there? I'm jabbing, what's this hand doing? Nothing, it's dead. Yeah, what's that one doing? This one, nothing, it's dead. That one, nothing, it's dead. Right, that's fine, because it's what I'm doing. If, if I'm here, I never want a dead hand. The hand's either getting the limbs out of the way or telling me where he is. Both hands are active all the time. Is everyone all right with that? We don't really have guards as such. So you get that when you look at knife hand, people going, oh, what's that hand for? Oh, it's guarding your solar plexus. I've been hit enough times in the solar plexus to so know I don't like it. You know, um, so, okay, but I, I've been poked in the eyes and kicked in the groin too. I don't do my knife hands like that. Or like this. You know what I mean? It's got an active purpose, not a passive purpose. Is everyone okay with that idea? So just a simple thing of, uh, if, you look, if you're analysing cut of yourself, take any move. You say, well, if that's the strike, that other hand will either be telling me where he is or getting limbs out of the way. Okay, and if you can work out which one it is, you're starting to decode your cut. Is everyone alright with that idea? So let's just say, just keep it simple. Use a knife hand as we've done to get the arm out of the way. Hand on the head, then I know where it is. If you want to play with it a little bit more, I know you can do that. So again, I say you can change and switch and boom and do that other thing. But we've always got one hand letting me know where he's at. Okay, it's my laser guided sights if you like. Okay, then, yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael Rosenbaum saw that, he watched one of my uh, DVDs and wrote me a little note to say what he liked about it and what he'd observed. And one of the things he said, and the, one, the final thing he wrote is, you like Hammerfist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, every time I'm finishing the guy, it's like, boom, you know, it's always there every time. So, yeah, I, I like that one. <laughs> so, I'm all right with that. So, get past the arm, put the hand on, pop an elbow, I'll just play with the general idea of using one arm to get the limbs out of the way, the other arm to control the head. And then we'll talk about angles in cutter and what they mean too. Okay? Awesome. Thank you.